What's going on, everybody? Happy Sunday. I know it's been a while since I posted the video. Um, had to run up to Pennsylvania Wednesday and just got back on Thursday, probably around like lunchtime offhand, bring my mom down for a while. So from there, uh, you know, to like recoup and then had a show on Saturday and it's just been crazy since then. So I do apologize for the lack of videos, but I am back. So I'll be able to get some more stuff done here. So as we usually do beginning of each month, I usually hit some stuff on this, some numbers on the PSA. And I'm going to pull this up here real quick. There we go. What I found to be pretty interesting was, if you remember, we had 830,000 cards processed in September. It dropped last month to 640,000. Not too sure why. Um, that's a significant number drop, to be honest. I don't know if there was a lot of people taking vacations or if they cut back on overtime or what it may be offhand. But that's a big chunk. I could see maybe plus or minus, oh, maybe 80,000, 10% type deal. But that, that's pretty big. Um, let's see, it does say this is all provided by gemrate.com. They said PSA graded more Pokemon cards last month than any type of sports cards. My initial thought when I read that, I'm like, maybe the graders had a hard time grading those cards because they weren't used to them and you get a lot of new people that are used to just sports cards I, i'm not too sure offhand but this would make sense why we're seeing the biggest being pokemon because this would have been around february when pokemon became extremely hot you had logan paul doing his thing with it a bunch of other uh people that were spending big money and posting all their pokemon stuff Second, you know, say is basketball, 175,000, 136,000 baseball, 83,000 football, 16,000 soccer, 9,000 hockey. So a little bit different this month, a little bit different. But the one thing, I know you guys have been watching the other videos. This part here is what stood out to me. They added 13,800 of 1920 prison basketball cards. That means they produced a crap load of them. Um, I'll probably hit a little bit more on this uh, when I talk about what I see in the show uh, next video. But, I mean, stuff's just plentiful. A lot of these prices are finally starting to settle to where they should be. Uh, mine is Zion because there's a lot of people just dumping him right now. I mean, I, I pick them up when, they're, when I can get them in a Raz or something like that. And then, like, I had one guy buy all four of mine for, you know, I get, you know, kind of a deal on to take all four, sure. Because I back at the time, I already made my money on these things here. It didn't matter anymore on Zion. All right. Let's see here. So, 473,000 1920 prison basketball cards have been graded. So, we're talking about almost half a million. Really big, really big. Uh, let's see here. 12,100 1920 Basketball Chronicles. That's that's pretty high, too. Uh, same with Mosaic Football. That we kind of figured was going to start jumping up. 11.7 on that. And then 7,400 Tops Chrome Baseball. So that's about the time where things were about to, uh, where you had to hurry up and get your stuff in. Uh, basically, because we're hitting a lot of stuff right now that was entered in a date in February. Well, I take it back, no, because this stuff would have been submitted in November last year, or November the year before. Yeah, November last year. So, no, I'm thinking of something else offhand. But, uh, yeah, a lot of this stuff, I mean, this is right after stuff being released, and it's been sitting in stuff waiting for bulk. Now, I like how they did this here. Um, this month because it gives you the breakdown 19.4 for Jordan, 12.8 on LeBron, 9,400 Kobe, 77 Ja, 73 Zion, 7,200 Lou Bob, 6,400 Shaq, 5,500 Luca. That's really dropping big time. Um, Griffey, 5,100, which I was kind of surprised that there's that many Griffeys being graded, to be honest. 
I know he's like a very collectible person out there, but I don't remember anything big like like a Jordan special or something like that going on. Tatis, another one there. But a lot of stuff, it says PSA now graded approximately 4 million cards since April 1st. A number that's still less than half of the total of cards that they were in backlog when the company shut down uh, last March. So from April through, so you're looking at April, May, June, July, August, September. Seven months to grade 4 million cards. Now, granted, they did hire more people. If our average is going to be around 650 say 50,000, something like that a month. I still think they catch up on their backlog uh, somewhere by summer, but I, maybe I'm off. And it's pretty much it. PSA started November off with the addition of 41,000 cards on Monday. So that's a good chunk, good chunk. But I figured everybody would like to see this. Um, always an interesting article because it starts making me think who's going to start being some more high pop counts. Jordan and LeBron, when you start looking at the older stuff and say with Kobe and even Griffey, maybe even throwing Shaq in there, a lot of their stuff isn't going to gem mint. A lot of people are hoping so or they think they know what a gem mint 10 is and are sending the stuff in. Plus, I still think we're having the back effect of the uh, Jordan special they had out there. All right, everybody. Hopefully, you guys had a good weekend. Um, I'll tell you, uh, Gridiron uh, Games, man. I got rocked this weekend again, two weeks straight. But all right, you guys take care. Have a good one, and I will catch you all next video.